Long ago, there was believed to be a secret hidden away in a video game. Not just any old secret, one that would completely change that game and possibly affect the future. A legend discussed among ancient tribes of people. Many years later, that story has been long forgotten. Probably because it was stupid. El is Veal might just be the most iconic video game rumor of all time. No, not that crap! This video is about old video game rumors. Back in the late 90s and even the early 2000s, information on games was very limited. <coughs> Gamers wouldn't know everything about the games that they played, which I personally think was a pretty good thing. At the time, developers tended to hide secrets in these games which usually required obscure methods to access them. Just imagine the pure joy of coming across one of these. What about games that had little mysteries to solve that would yield a reward? I love stuff like that. Now, these secrets led people to speculate about what certain games were hiding, which, of course, led to a lot of false rumors. Ones such as Mew being hidden under a truck in Pokemon Red and Blue. With all this information in mind, it would be no surprise that Super Mario 64 was subject to this as well. The first 3D Mario game ever has just been released. Everybody's having fun, exploring glorious worlds, experiencing all new controls, complaining about how archaic the game was 20 years later. Yeah, all of the good stuff. However, there was one major thing missing from the game. Where? Was we? Yeah, I can't believe it either. They completely forgot about our boy Wee. I I just don't understand how they could forget such an integral character. But wait, how did we know Luigi didn't make it in? Simple. He's not anywhere else, and you don't unlock him for getting 100%. Well, I managed to get a hold of some confidential information from my uncle's friend's sister's boss's pet dolphin who works at Nintendo. There is a lot to unpack from these documents, but first we need to go to a very important spot. So I guess I'll see you there. As you can see, we've made our way to the castle courtyard. The most standout feature of this area is the statue in the middle. The text on the plaque is very hard to read, but according to this file, it says L is real 2401. At first, I questioned the authenticity of this, but come on, it's information from the internet. There's no way it's a lie. Anyway, let me read more about this. So, what does this statue hide? Well, nothing, of course! It was believed that you could unlock Luigi in Super Mario 64, but not under normal circumstances. This statue that supposedly says Ella's Veal 2401 was apparently a hint towards unlocking him. With the singular clue, clue, people devised multiple methods of unlocking Luigi. My personal favorite is, run around the statue 2,401 times and you unlock Luigi. That sounds absolutely ridiculous. But we are doing detective work here, so I feel it's necessary that we try it. What human being has the patience to do this anyway? Surely no one, right? So that must mean that the door is still open. Maybe this is how we'll prove that Luigi is in the game. Running around a statue that many times. It's gotta be worth it. For the sake of God, my country, and every epic gamer, I swear to all of you that this shall be done. I'll see to it that I personally will appoint Peter to do this. That I will personally appoint Craig to do this. Yeah, if you couldn't already tell, silly methods like this aren't going to work. Secrets were hidden behind weird and unorthodox methods, but nothing like this. This is just tedious. Still, even though it was pretty clear that this was fake, people still bought into it. Why? Because of the lack of information. At the time, the internet was the ultimate breeding ground for rumors like this. The rumors usually sprouted there, through playground discussions, or an April Fool's issue of a gaming magazine. Someone comes up with a fake secret and spreads it online or through personal friends. Or in a case like this, people would arrive these rumors from a random detail in the game. Obviously, Elizveal wasn't real. 
But was this speculation fun? Oh heck yeah! I fondly remember going on YouTube back in the good old days and watching videos about this rumor. And it wasn't exclusive to just this, there were plenty of other videos about various other rumors. The remake of Mario 64, Super Mario 64 DS, was subject to similar speculation. You probably won't believe this, but oh, holy crap, Weeg is actually in the game this time! Bro, this is so epic, A Peter played a funny song. However, there was still one other problem, and no, it wasn't playing a 3D game with a D-pad, shush. The issue this time was, where's Waluigi? They had the whole squad this time, except for Waluigi. I'm serious, he has as much of a presence here as he does in Super Smash Bros. Anyway, you get the idea. This was on a similar scale as Ellisville. One of my favorite theories of his existence in the game had to be this one video I saw that pointed out this weird looking window on the castle in the file select screen and he said it confirmed his existence. Yes, I am serious. All of this was ridiculous, but it was all in good fun. Oh, and how about I mention some others, like the secret villager in Animal Crossing named Brutus. It was said that at night this purple dog would move into your town and pull horrific acts like chopping down all of your trees or freaking kidnapping your villagers. Excuse me, what? But the best thing about this rumor was the reason it couldn't be disproven. People were legitimately scared of running into Brutus, so because of that they wouldn't go outside at night. Which means that nobody could confirm whether or not he actually existed. Of course, he didn't, but this is still such a creepy and fun rumor to talk about. There's so many others I could mention, such as Sonic and Super Smash Bros. Melee, but Ella's Veal was my personal favorite. There was so much buzz surrounding it that it's become nostalgic to think about it. It brings me back to whenever I'd randomly explore the castle and occasionally find a hidden area, and I'd wonder if there was something even bigger to be found. Does anyone remember those Mario 64 machinimas? There was a time when several people made those. Maybe I could make a separate video about that. But anyway, I remember one of those that was themed around this rumor. It was titled, The Secret of L is Real. I still love that video to this day because it made the mystery even grander than it already was. And with all that, you might be wondering why haven't we heard any rumors like this for more modern games? Well, what once nurtured them, eventually killed them. The development of the internet led to more accurate information spreading. Uh, keep in mind I said more accurate, not completely accurate. If I said that in Super Mario Odyssey, if you 100% the game in 3 hours while playing with a sideways Joy-Con and you have your Switch connected to McDonald's Wi-Fi, then you would unlock Archibald the Asparagus from VeggieTales as a playable character, well, then it would get disproven immediately. At least, not until Game Explain makes a video about it! Everyone has access to more reliable information nowadays, and there are even people who can look into a game's coding to confirm certain things. These types of rumors can't survive anymore unless if the game being talked about is extremely obscure. Though if the game is obscure, then would there even be any people making rumors about it to begin with? However, rumors still live on, albeit in a lame and annoying form. Yes, they're still around, but instead of secrets and video games, they're now talking about video game leaks and stuff like that. But Luggo, sure they're both rumors, but aside from that, they aren't comparable at all. Bro, they're both widespread on the internet, and the speculations surrounding them are equally as stupid. Yet even though these have arguably more rough evidence backing them up, people still fall for fake leaks anyway. And unlike the ones we were talking about earlier, I don't see these dying anytime soon. They may both have equally ridiculous claims, but which one sounds the slightest bit more possible? Finding a funny tall purple man as a playable character in a game when there's no hint of him even being there, PURPLE GUY! Or some random person on the internet saying there's gonna be a bunch of Mario remakes over the course of one year. At least old video game rumors were like, I don't know, creepy pastas serving as fun stories you'd get invested in as a kid. But I feel like that's enough ranting on modern rumors. In hindsight, I look back on them pretty fondly. I like having information about a game readily available to me, but I also have nostalgic memories about the contents of games being absolute mysteries. There's no telling whether something was right or wrong. You're just going to have to discover the answer for yourself. 
So, uh, Craig has run around the statue 2,400 times, and we haven't gotten anything. I just find it unbelievable that this file could possibly be incorrect. It just doesn't make sense. Who would go on the internet to tell lies? I've examined it from every corner and found nothing. I think that's enough. My childhood has been ruined and I'm depressed. Come on guys, let's call it a day. What is going on? Wait, there's no way. There's absolutely no way that he, he, he actually is. I, I can't believe it. It's, it's we.